Hello fellow beach lovers. Welcome to another SWF Beach Life video. If you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe and that notification button so you will be notified when I produce a new video. Today I'm going to show you how we made this for free. My favorite price. So for this particular project, you're going to need some wood, a router, spray paint, a chop saw, staple gun, and some sand dollars. That's what I chose to put on this fine frame. Someone was getting rid of this wood and so we took it off their hands. That wood was free. And the first thing we're gonna do is put that router along the edge and kind of carve out a little indentation. That's for the back to go in. You'll see in a couple minutes how that's all gonna work out. So first we did some routing. Actually, I didn't do that, my husband did. He did the routing and then we're gonna cut it into four equal pieces because we wanted a square frame. So got that chop saw, we're gonna cut these guys into four equal pieces, just like that. And then we needed to change the angle on the saw to get us a 45 so they will all marry up nicely for our fine little frame. And so now we have our four equal pieces. We're gonna line them up. We're gonna staple them all really, really good on all the corners. And then just for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and put a screw in just to make sure. Now we're gonna do some sanding. I kind of like the, the fact that the wood is old and kind of some of the stain is on, some of the stain is peeled off. I really like that look. So we're just gonna kind of leave it, but make it smooth, make sure that it's at least presentable. And there is that routed edge where the back is going to fit in. So now we're gonna go ahead and paint. I like blue, it's my favorite color. So we went with blue for the backing and white because I kind of like that shabby chic farmhouse kind of look. So we didn't wanna, again, we did not wanna completely cover it in white, but just good enough so you can kind of see some of that wood showing through. And we just put it in our handy dandy driveway and let it bake. And the sun makes it dry real quick. Then we took the palm sander and went over that back piece again, just to kind of give it a layered, you know, textured kind of look. Stick the backing in the frame and get going on that stapling. We've used that staple gun a whole bunch lately. A bunch of furniture we finally just finished and there you go. Now, I thought I wanted to do one sand dollar, but I just kept playing around and decided maybe I want two. And then I thought, well, do I wanna add shells to it? So I put them in there, take a look. Nah. On the frame, maybe? Nah. No, I'm just gonna leave it. Just the two sand dollars. And again, I'm gonna use my handy dandy Elmer's glue I glued them on, I let them bake, and that was it. We're gonna put a hanger on the back and we got ourselves a free sand dollar beach art. I love free and blue and the beach. So friends, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my beachy goodness.